Ice Locked here with Nocturne Gaming, I'm back with more Legends of Eidolon today, and we're taking a look at the second Chaotic boss. This is Chaotica Font. He is located in Jonut Town at the end of Yum Yum Desert, and there are a few accuracy requirements to fight this boss. He requires a minimum of 2,000 accuracy for a 5% hit chance, and 6,000 accuracy for a 100% hit chance. Other than that, he requires five keys per attempt, and he has a lot of health. He has two health bars. Each health bar has 100 million health. So bring a character with a significant amount of damage on it to fight this in a reasonable amount of time. Also, he does a lot of damage. I recommend going in with at least 200 defense, and that's still going to be a little bit of a struggle. So make sure you're bringing plenty of food to fight this boss. So let's go ahead and enter. And when you're entering, make sure you're selecting the chaotic version. Now let's take a look at his abilities. We're gonna start from the left side, top ability, go down, and then look at the right side. All right. So the first platform on the left side is the hammer swing that he's doing right now. He hits the platform and then hits the bottom platform. You can avoid this by moving to the very edge of either of these platforms or jumping onto this small platform here. Now, it does some damage, but it's easily tankable. So the next ability is his flame orb here. He spawns flames in a pattern. It goes through one, two, three, four, and it spawns random flames throughout the map. A minor amount of damage, so it's not a significant worry to kill it quickly. The next is his finger gun here. He waves his hand, spins it around, and then does damage when he does the spin. Now, unlike in the normal version, he, this is not a one-shot ability, so it is tankable, and that makes it easier because he also does this kick with his leg here. Uh, this, is, this hits anywhere on the bottom section here or on this platform here. So there is a significant damage output here, so I do recommend killing this fairly quickly, and then we'll move on to the right side. So starting with the right side top hand here, he does a caress ability. He, it is only in melee range, so you can just back off and it won't hit you. During the time that you're standing here fighting this, he pauses his hand and starts doing a grabbing motion over the top of your head. With my 500 defense, he does still hit me for about 450 HP. So let's move on to this one. This is his psionic wave and the psionic wave shoots large amounts of purple rings at you. They do a meager amount of damage, so you can tank this fairly easily. It's not a priority to kill. The last ability that he has with his arms is his scimitar. He swings it all the way up, and then he does a secondary slash attack that only hits this platform. So the first swing hits all three platforms in melee range, and then the secondary swing only on the bottom platform. Again, he can kick with his leg here, so this is the highest damaging platform, and it is recommended that you kill this first. His abilities are not in any particular order, but he does rotate through them, so as you kill a specific arm, it makes all of the other arms do their attacks more frequently. So let's go ahead and start fighting the boss and kill him as quick as we can. So we're, we're probably gonna speed up through this part, Okay, here we are fighting the last section of the boss. Now we have all of the arms down and we start attacking the head. He does really one ability at this point. That's these blue rings that come out. He spins his head a little bit and then the ring of blue comes out. They are easily tankable with a, a small amount of defense. So you should be able to pretty much ignore it. 
he does do some of the blue rings that come from the ceiling here and then we're just fighting to kill the head as quick as possible so we're going to speed up here again Okay, and the boss is almost dead here, and we're going to take a look at the loot now. So his loot drops are fairly standard for a boss. He has a chance of dropping some gems if you have the merit in the tasks. And the other drops that he has a chance of are the ripped tunics, which are the blue tunics that are also available in normal mode. The ribbed tunics, which are only available from Chaotica font and is necessary to make the Chaotic Ring. And he has a chance for the Afonso Obel, and also, of course his Chaotic Afont card, and a chance to drop Midnight Cookies as well. It doesn't look like we got very lucky there, but we have some normal silver food items and whatnot. So this has been Chaotic Afont. This is Ice Locked with Nocturne Gaming. If you have any comments, thoughts, or questions, please leave them down below, and we'll see you next time.